So what is a minimal launcher? What is minimalism? Why do we need minimal launches? If you've watched The Social Dilemma, I mean, if you've not watched it, I think you should definitely watch it. You realize that our smartphone apps have been designed to, you know, make us constantly be on our screen. So our eyes are always fixated on our screens, swiping through pictures or just watching videos. And before you realize, you've spent a lot of time and you've not actually done anything productive at the end of the day. I mean, I know our smartphones can also help us do productive things, but one of the downsides is, you know, getting too much addicted to some applications. Uh, to many, that will be like uh, social media apps. So a minimal launcher is one of the few ways we can actually control how, you know, we access these apps. And that's why I love minimal launchers. So now minimalism is becoming a trend. And as you know, with any other trend, we start having a lot of, you know, copycats and a lot of, you know, junk in the market. So for example, with the minimal Android launchers, if you go on the Play Store, we have few amazing, great minimal launchers. At the same time, you have like a ton of trashy ones. And that is why I'm here today. I'm going to be sharing with you some few good, in fact, not, not good, some few great minimal Android launchers you can install on your Android device and, you know, use so that you can get less distracted from Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and the likes so that you can do more things that can make you, you know, reach your goals at the end of the day. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. The first minimal launcher I'd want to talk about is the Niagara launcher. I always say Niagara. I don't know what it is, Niagara or Niagara. I mean, let me know the correct pronunciation down in the comments below, but I really appreciate the work and efforts that went into designing this launcher. Not only is it pleasant to look at, it is very easy to use and it is very, very minimal. So with Niagara Launcher, you have the option to place eight applications on your home screen, just eight applications. And I like that you have the option to add icon packs. So if you're someone who wants to have like a, a monochromatic icon pack on your home screen, you can do that with uh, Niagara Launcher. Uh, at the same time, if you want to access your applications, all the other apps, you, you can just swipe on either side of the screen. And once you start swiping top to bottom, you start seeing this really amazing animation and you can have access to your applications. It also has the ability to add a widget, which is very important. I know a lot of people have different use cases for widgets. So just giving you the option to add one widget is a great thing. Uh, I feel that if they start giving us the opportunity to add a ton of other widgets, then it takes away from the whole minimal launcher vibe. So I like that you just have one widget only to place on your home screen. Now aside that, I just love the user interface. I think it's very easy to use, especially in one handed mode. I found myself to be, you know, navigating the whole interface with one hand, which is a good thing. So this is a free version of the Niagara launcher. With the pro version, you can actually do a lot of things like you can change the font of the home screen. Uh, you can also uh, have folder support amongst others. So if you do want to go in hard on Niagara launcher, you can definitely go for the pro version. But I do think if you, you want to become a minimalist and you want to start off, Niagara Launcher is a good way to start, especially with a free version. You can use it without having or needing to um, buy the pro version, but if you do want to get it, you have that option as well. So hey, this is by the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button and let's just continue. So now the second minimal launcher we have is the Minimal Agenda Launcher. Now this launcher is kind of unique and I love the features it has it, it's not really like all the other launchers i've seen personally and that is what i like about it it's uniqueness so with this launcher to access your applications you need to swipe there's this um, arrow button pointing to the top you just swipe on top of that and you can have access to all your applications but if you don't want to access your apps right on the home screen you can see your calendar event which is very important if you're someone who has a lot of events and you want to be constantly reminded of that event and you don't want to just be straying away in some social media app and swiping and swiping and before you realize you cannot do what you need to do i think this is the launcher for you so with this launcher there's basically nothing on the home screen you just get a search bar like a google search bar and then you have your calendar events that you can even swipe 
and have more access to. So Minimal Agenda Launcher is pretty simple, but I appreciate the fact that you also have more options to customize your home screen if you want to. So with this Minimal Agenda Launcher, it's really big on calendar events. So if you're someone who has a lot of meetings to take in the day and you have that listed in your calendar, and then you want like a Minimal Launcher to use on your Android device, I do think this is a great option to look at. So check it out and let me know what you think. Now let's move on to the third Minimal Launcher. Now the third launcher is the Before Launcher. Before Launcher is very unique also. It has three pages. So in the middle page, you have uh, access to about seven applications. Now I like the fact that it is just text. So there's no icon at all. It's just text right in your face. And so if you're someone who wants to kind of show off your wallpaper, I think this is a great option. This is a great alternative. Uh, if you swipe to the left, you have access to your notifications. So you have filtered notifications. So swiping right from the middle, you have access to all your applications. So if you want to get access to any app at all, you can easily do so just by swiping to the right. Also with Before Launcher, you have a ton of amazing things you can choose from. So even though you're going for that minimal vibe, you can still have beautiful wallpapers to show off on your home screen. And that is one of the main things I like about Before Launcher. Now giving you that three page layout is pretty awesome. You can just navigate to them vertically without having to do it horizontally, which is amazing. And I like that you have a ton of themes. This uh, launcher also has a pro version. Uh, I, I don't know why you'd go get the pro version because to me the free version is pretty amazing and you don't have ads like bugging you with the free version so um, I personally I advise that you just go with the free version but if you do want to get the pro version they do have that so you can check it out to see whether its features are compelling enough for you to go get to that. Now let's move on to the last launcher. So the last launcher is all launcher and it is very similar to before launcher but it does have some unique features that before launcher does not have. It's just a one page setup and it gives you access to few apps in text which I love. I don't I'm not really a fan of icons all the time on the home screen so you just having text on the home screen gives you this minimal vibe and it shows off your wallpaper so if you have an amazing wallpaper like I do then you'll be proud of your home screen. And I like the fact that if you swipe to the left, it actually opens an app. So instead of showing you an interface like uh, your notifications or um, your applications like before launcher, you can actually choose an app you can open by swiping. So if you swipe left, you can open an app. If you swipe right, you can open an app. So for me, if I swipe left, I have access to my core app. And if I swipe right, I have access to my camera app, which is pretty cool. And at the same time, I still have access to all my applications. So if I want to access them, I can just swipe up and then I would have access to all my applications. So one thing I like about all launcher is that you do not have icon support. So it's just text throughout. So text on the home screen, text in the drawer. I know some people might really love this, but to some, they might not like that. So if you're someone who would want to have um, a bit of icons on your home screen, then you can consider the previous um, launches I talked about, like Niagara launcher, or maybe uh, minimal agenda launcher. So, uh, that's that, but I like this look with all launcher. It has a very clean look and I love that it's just text throughout and I'm able to still get access to two of my most important apps, which is really cool. So there you have it, four amazing minimal launchers of 2020 you can actually download. Let me know what you think about these launches down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, give this video a like. I go by the name Soji Gray and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.